video, we will discuss how to solve corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Now, for our first example, we have two triangles named triangle ACT is congruent to triangle MON. Since they are congruent, ibig sabihin, their corresponding parts are also congruent. Then, given the measurement of the side, which is 3x, and then on the other triangle is 21, we have to solve for the value of x. Now, let us mark the two corresponding parts which are congruent from the given. So, we have line segment AC is congruent to line segment MO. Ibig sabihin, the measurement of line segment AB will be the same with the measurement of line segment MO. So, for number 1 given, it is easy kasi naka, nakalagay na yung measurement na 21 on the other triangle. Ibig sabihin, all we need to find is the value for x. And to solve that, substitute the value of line segment AB or the measurement given, which is 3x, is equal to the measurement of line segment MO or 21. Then solve for the value of x, we have... Divide both sides by 3, then we will get the value of x, which is 7. To check if the value of x is correct, substitute the value, which is 7, to the given measurement of line segment AB, which is 3x. So 3 times x, or 3 times 7, is also 21. Sabihin, same sila ng measure because they are congruent. Now, for the value of y, we have two congruent sides again, which are line segment CT is congruent to line segment ON. This time, ang measurement natin ay unknown kasi ang given natin ay for line segment CT, we have 8y minus 6, which is congruent to line segment ON, or the given measurement is 3y plus 9. So, para makuha natin yung measure ng sides, we have to solve for y. So, by addition property of equality, we will combine like terms, 8y and 3y. O para mas madali, we have 8y, since this is positive 3y, magiging minus 3y is equal to 9, then negative 6 will be positive 6. Then solve, we have 8y minus 3y is 5y, and 9 plus 6 is 15. To solve for the value of y, divide both sides by 5, so y is 3. Now, to get the measure of the side, we have to substitute the value of y to the given, which is 8y minus 6 on the first triangle. So, if we have 8y, 8 times 3, yung nakuha nating value ng y, minus 6. 8 times 3 is 24, minus 6, we have 18. Then, for another triangle, we have the measure of sides, which is 3y plus 9. Dapat pag sinubstitute natin yung y is equal to 3 sa 3y plus 9, makuha din natin yung measure na 18 since they are congruent. So, we have 3 times 3 plus 9. And 3 times 3 is 9 plus 9. We have 9 plus 9 or 18. Ibig sabihin, tama yung nakuha nating value ng y which is 3. We have Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DCB. So, this time, we will solve for the value of X para makuha natin yung unknown angle. And we all know that these angles are congruent. Ibig sabihin, whatever the measure of 4X minus 35, yun din ang magiging measure ni 2X plus 17, which is the angle. So, pangalanan muna natin yung two corresponding parts which are congruent. 
we have this angle and para naman sa second triangle this angle since ang triangle natin ay merong reflexive sides we have to name its angle using three capital letters so we have angle abc is congruent to angle dcb ibig sabihin if they are congruent 4x minus 35 is equal to 2x plus 17. So, para makuha natin yung angle, we have to solve for x. So, using the APE or addition property of equality, combine like terms, we have 4x minus 2x is equal to 17 plus 35. Next, simplify. We have 2x is equal to 52. Then, to get the value of x, divide both sides by 2. So, the value of x is 26. Now, we get the value of x, which is 26. Para makuha naman natin yung angle, we have to substitute 26 dito sa ating 4x minus 35 and 2x plus 17. So, for angle ABC, we have 4x minus 35 or 4 times 26 minus 35. And 4 times 26 is 104. Minus 35, we have 69, or since this is angle, 69 degrees. Oops. Next, we have 2x plus 17. The value of x is 26, so 2 times 26 plus 17 we have 52 plus 17 and that is also equal to 69 degrees big sabihin tama yung value ng x natin which is 26 example number 4 yun pa rin yung ating triangle we have Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DCB. So this time, we will solve for the unknown measure of sides, which are line segment AC and line segment DB, which are congruent. Big sabihin, they have the same measure. So we can say that 3Y plus 20 will be equal to 7y. So, to get the measure of the side, we have to solve for y. So, combined like terms, we have 3y minus 7y or negative 20. Then, we have negative 4y is equal to negative 20. To solve for y, divide both sides by negative 4. So, our value will be positive 5. So, para malaman natin yung measure ng side, substitute. If y is 5, then we have 7 times 5 or 35. Ibig sabihin, dapat 35 din yung ating line segment AC. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 plus 20 is 35. Take note that checking is important. Para after natin substitute, makita natin na nag-equal yung dalawang measurement na given natin.